Welcome to this tutorial on calculating date overlaps in Excel. Whether you're managing project timelines, tracking rental periods, or scheduling events, knowing how to determine overlapping days between to date ranges is a critical skill. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to calculate overlap days with clear examples and formulas. Let's dive in. Date overlaps occur when to time periods share common days. For example, if Project A runs from January 1st to January 10th and Project B runs from January 5th to January 15th, they overlap for 6 days. To calculate this in Excel, we'll use a formula that compares the start and end dates of both ranges and subtracts non-overlapping periods. The key is to avoid negative results when there's no overlap. Here's the formula we'll use, equals max 0, min n1, n2, max start 1, start to plus 1. Let's break this down. Min N1, N2, finds the earlier end date of the two ranges. Max Start 1, Start 2, finds the later start date of the two ranges. Subtracting these gives the overlap days. Plus 1 ensures both start and end days are counted. Max 0, ensures the result is never negative no overlap. Now, let's apply this to real world scenarios. Let's say you're an HR manager, and you're tracking vacation requests for your team. Two employees, John and Sarah, have submitted their leave dates, and you need to check if their vacations overlap. If they do, you'll need to know exactly how many days overlap to avoid staffing shortages. Let's walk through this step by step. First, let's create a simple table to organize the vacation dates for John and Sarah. Now, let's write a formula to calculate the number of overlapping days between John and Sarah's vacations. Here's the formula we'll use equals Emma x0, min c2, c3, max b2, b3 plus 1. Let me break this down for you. John's start date is March 1st, and Sarah's is March 5th. The later of the two is March 5th. We use max start 1, start 2 to get March 5th. John's end date is March 10th, and Sarah's is March 15th. The earlier of the two is March 10th. We use min n1, n2 to get March 10th. Subtract the latest start date from the earliest end date, it will return 5, this doesn't include both the start and end days. To fix this, we need to add 1 and return 6, it is our expected result. If there's no overlap such as, one vacation ends before the other starts, the result could be negative. We wrap the formula in max 0, to ensure the result is never negative. Let's check if the formula works correctly, the result is 6 days. Let's say you're organizing a conference, and you need to make sure two sessions don't overlap in the same room. For example, workshop A is scheduled from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., and workshop B is from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Do they overlap? If yes, by how much? Let's figure this out step by step. First, let's create a table to organize the session details. We'll include the session name, start time, and end time. Now, Let's write a formula to calculate the overlap time between workshop A and workshop B since we're dealing with times. We'll adjust our formula slightly, equals emma x0, min n1, n2, max start 1, start to asterisk 24. Let me break this down for you. Workshop A starts at 9 a.m., and workshop B starts at 11 a.m. The later of the two is 11 a.m. We use max start 1, start to, to get 11 a.m. Workshop A ends at 12 p.m., and Workshop B ends at 2 p.m. The earlier of the two is 12 p.m. We use min n1, n2 to get 12 p.m. Subtract the latest start time from the earliest end time. 12 p.m. to 11 a.m. equals 1 hour. Multiply by 24 to convert the result from Excel's time format fraction of a day to hours. Let's check if the formula works correctly. The result is 1 hour. Calculating date overlaps is essential for Project management, avoid resource conflicts. Event planning, prevent scheduling clashes. Property management, ensure tenant compliance. Mastering this formula saves time and reduces errors in data-driven decisions. And that's how you calculate date overlaps in Excel. We've covered employee vacations and event scheduling all with practical formulas and examples. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.